Okay, to uh, get started with a Shiny app, I'm going to go here and just make sure you have the latest version of R&R &R Studio up. They've added the Shiny Web app uh, right here, so you can just insert that. You have to give it a name. Always give it the name app if you're going to run this as a single file. Um, that's, I think, the recommended way now. You could go back to the old way, a multiple file, and then you would have two files, a UI for your user interface and a server. And some of the videos you'll see will use uh, that approach. I'm going to go with a single file. And then you have to tell it what directory. You have to have a folder already set up for this. And you can see that I, I do. I had my desktop and then Shiny, a folder that... that a, a, folder I already had, and then example one, which is where I'm going to put this. And so you have to select that folder and create. And you can see it opens up a file here. This is the default. This is on every computer that you have. So there is a Shiny app. And if you click Run App, it will run that app. And I believe in this case, it will put it in the viewer on, your, um, on, on our studio. You can have it open up into a web, you can have it um, or into a web app, and of course you could then download that onto uh, uh, at, 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 at Shiny. So I'm just going to click Run App, and you can see that it has it over here. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger here. Um, actually, to really get the view of it here, I'm going to do this. And so this is the app that uh, is here, and it has the, some data on eruptions of uh, Old Faithful uh, Geyser in, uh, in Yellowstone. And it just has a histogram of it, and we're looking at what happens when you change the number of bins for your histogram. So you just slide that, and you can see what it looks like if you have different numbers of bins. Okay, so that's what this particular app does. Uh, a pretty simple uh, app, but that's all we want to really get to in this case. So let's just look now at what the uh, output said. And you can see uh, it looks like it's on the top and bottom, but really on a web page it's going to show up like this. That's just because of the sizing here. Okay, so to do this, just give you the basic uh, layout of a Shiny app. Uh, you have to load the Shiny library. If you haven't installed the package yet, you'll have to do that. And then the first part just says we're going to do a user interface. And this part's always the same. UI equals Shiny UI fluid page. That doesn't change. Okay, then you can give it a title. And the command for that is title panel. And then in parentheses, you would tell it the, uh, the title. I'm sorry, in parentheses and quotations, the title. Don't forget your commas at the end. And then the next thing it has here is sidebar with slider input. So first of all, it says sidebar layout. That's going to put this number of bins thing on the left-hand pane when you have the whole thing expanded there. And slider input. You give it a name, bins. Then you're going to give it what you want it to print out here, number of bins. And then I've given it a minimum value of 1 and a maximum value of, 500, of 50 and a starting value of 30. Just, you just have to tell it where to start out the first time, and then when people change it, that will change. And then a main panel, and that's where you're going to show the histogram. So main panel, plot output, that's going to stay the same if you're plotting a graph there. And then distribution plot is what you want to name this plot. So the first part there, the user interface just says, I'm going to have a slider, I want to have a sidebar with the slider panel, um, with a slider input, and I'm going to have a plot in the main window. The second thing you have to have is uh, the, uh, the server, which tells you how you're going to draw the histogram. So that first part there, server, shiny server, function, input, output, that stays the same. Um, and then same here, output, Dist plot. Now that's the name of the that we gave up here for our, uh, what we're going to plot in this window. The in output we're going to put there. Um, 
back down here, output disk plot is, we're going to render the plot, and then it's got some open parentheses and curly parentheses, and inside these curlies, we're going to put our R code. X, and a lot of people, when they write R code, instead of putting an equal sign, they put this less than sign with a minus sign there. That means assigned to, but yeah, might, people might laugh if you put an equal sign, but it'll do the same thing. Faithful is just a data set that's in R. It's a default data set for, uh, for old uh, faithful. And we're looking at the second column. Uh, it's what that comma two means, row col column uh, two. Bins, they're just defining the, uh, the, the bins that we're going to go from the minimum X to the maximum X. And we're going to have, uh, uh, have that there. And then we're going to draw the histogram. Histogram X breaks equal these bins. You really wouldn't have, well, any, so, so you have that. And then you're going to give it a color and a border and then finish that out. And then the last thing you have to do is have this shiny app statement. Again, if you, every time, if you just start with insert an app, then you can just go in and you already have the uh, basic outline of it. And then you can just change the programming part that you want in there. And if you don't want, there are other inputs besides sliders and things like that that you can uh, change. But the basic outline of it's already there for you. And then you can just reload the app and so on if you want to see if it runs. And that is the basic uh, just starting point to look at what uh, a shiny app.